Press pause and answer the question. So a history instructor teaches two sections of the same course, and he notices when he graded the most recent exam from his first section that the class mean, the average, was 78%, but the median of the class was 86%. So the question is, what's the most likely cause in the difference? And the answer is this one. There are a few students who did much worse than the rest of the students. So we can imagine a scenario where we have five students in a class, let's say. And the first one got a 50, the second one got a 60, the third one got a 70, the fourth one got an 80, and the fifth one got a 90. And it's pretty easy to say that the median is this one right here, the third one. And the mean is also going to be at the same level. The, the average is going to be 70, and the median is going to be 70. But if we have an outlier, let's say we pull this one down, let's say this guy really, really flubbed the test and only got a 10. And when he does that, he's going to pull the, uh, he's going to pull the mean all the way down to 62. But the median is still going to be the same. The middle level is going to be the same. And that's actually kind of the defining characteristic of the median is that Outliers don't affect it too much, but the mean can be significantly affected by an outlier.